Why haven't you learned anything? My last school shit is a joke. The same people who control the school system control the prison system. Our principal, Strawn, is trying to get rid of one of the greatest teachers, Ms. Salazar. You know, it's, um, it's frustrating and it pisses me off. It pisses us off. Like, half the school knows her. They know that she's a very passionate teacher. She goes out of the curriculum to teach us our history instead of the bullshit Eurocentrism they teach us in our history classes. And so all of us are affected by it. You know, because it's, it's like, okay, you know, it's the fact that she might go away. How many other good teachers will be get gotten rid of, you know? The principal is like a warden in the four year sentence. Mad niggas never finish. Strawn is the main person get, trying, to get, trying to get rid of Miss Alessar. There's other people that are backing them up too. But My people need freedom. We're trying to get all we can get. Mm, yeah, we're actually having a protest on June the 5th in front of the school to direct this, you know, conflict to Strawn, telling him, you know, well, you can't fire her. She's. She's not just a teacher. Salazar is more than just a teacher. Some of us, some of us, she's. Get your lessons. That's what my mom's kept stressing. She, she, she enforces us and she wants us to be better than what we are now. She knows that every single student at Jordan has that potential to go far and take it far. She gives us that, she gives us that incentive to go farther than any other teacher has at Jordan. Other teachers just sit there and makes us feel like. You're just sitting here doing nothing. Why aren't you standing? Why aren't you teaching us this shit that we need to know? And she stands there day after day teaching us everything we need to know. She prepares us for the real world. Something the teachers in Jordan do not do. They just think that we're just going to graduate, go to community college, and that's the rest of our life. No, there's other shit out there that she teaches us about. She teaches us how to be strong and how to not let nobody oppress us. She gives us hope to not just be another person working at a fast food restaurant. She gives us hope to be those doctor, lawyers, all of that. And I, and I don't want to get rid of that. They seem to only glorify the Europeans, claiming Africans with only three fifths of human beings. Because if we're not going to stand up, then there's going to be other people coming to our school saying, okay, we're going to change things for our school without student input and without even like recognizing the fact that we have a voice, we have rights, you know, and students need to realize that. Don't be scared, because I used to be scared too, but it's like, why should I be, yeah, why should I be scared of you? I'm trying to help out my fellow comrades over here. What students that Jordan need to do is just stand up, you know, they have a voice, everybody in school has a voice, and they're just scared to speak it because they think that automatically that they're going to be deprived from the activities at school. No, they're not. If they're going to get, if they're going to save a good teacher, then they're going to save themselves too from everything, from the school, from being oppressed from these teachers that just take over us like we're nothing. They just practically think we're just rocks and just kick us around. And we can't, we can't take that no more. We just need teachers to prepare us for the everyday life like she does. They need to come down at June 5th and protest. We need to, we just need to get this, get this out there. We need the students to come forth and like, not even be scared. I know that. And I love education, you know what I'm saying? But if education ain't elevating me, and you know what I'm saying? It ain't taking me where I